Hey guys, welcome to my guide that will instruct you how to beat Onryoki. Let's first talk general strategy. Onryoki is a two-phase fight. It has highly telegraphed moves with terrible tracking. We will use this to bait attacks and punish him mercilessly. Patience is a must here as you learn how to tackle Onryoki. On to phase one. First move involves him slamming down one of his balls. The second move involves him slamming one after the other. And the next one coming up involves him slamming both. These three moves are easy to read and thus can be punished pretty easily. He counters with a backhand sweep. He can also do a full 360 sweep, dodge through the chains or to be safe just back off. Last is a single ball slam into 360 sweep. Pay close attention to this mix up. Believe it or not, you can actually break his horns. It's a one-time free punish, which sadly doesn't even last too long. So just get a few hits in, and then back away to safety. Getting him out of key on the other hand is where it's at. Now's the time to pressure him down. Don't let him get away and you can get about 6 hits off before he'll do a body slam to refresh his key. You can totally go for more hits. Once you hear his scream, just back away. Let's review Phase 1's moveset. You have three ball slam techniques which can all be dealt with via baiting them, going behind him, and then punishing him. We have two sweep abilities, either dodge through the chains, which is risky, or play it safe by disengaging altogether. Lastly, we have one major mix-up. Pay very close attention to whether the ball slam will be followed up by a sweep. Moving on to Phase 2. You'll know that you hit it once you see and hear the chains break. It's a seamless transition from ball and chain to punches. His out of key behavior remains the same between phase one and phase two. Wail on him to your heart's content and back away once you see him about to body slam. Oh yeah, he sometimes won't body slam, but plan as if he's going to anyway. Horn break behavior also does not change between phases. Get some quick hits in and back out before he swipes you. Let's cover phase two's move set. Phase 2 contains several moves which can be dealt with more or less the same way, starting with two ground punches, a ground punch followed up by a swipe, he's got a swipe and a slam, and coming up you're gonna see a double fist slam, honestly it's so telegraphed it's ridiculous, and he has a grab, same thing, you can unleash your assaults without really any concern. He has one dedicated counter attack which is just a backhand sweep, you can kind of loop it. Next are ball throws. He will sometimes disengage to throw one at you. There's a quick one and a slow one. Both can be dodged, but you're better off just running to the side. His final attack is the most telegraphed body slam ever with a huge amount of downtime. Let's recap the various moves from phase two. Most attacks can be read quite easily and as a result can be punished mercilessly. For this reason, I find phase two to be much easier to work with than phase one. Onryoki has a counter-attack move that can be looped almost indefinitely if you stand behind his right leg, and finally he has two ball throws which can be easily avoided by running to the side. Here's how I'd tackle him. Double ball slam, go for a nice long punish. Okay, what are you doing now? Backhand sweep, so dodge through it. Keep the attacks going. Single ball slam into what? Oh, you're doing that one. So then I'm just gonna keep the attacks going. Okay, what are you doing now? Oh crap, I didn't block it and dodge in time. At least I blocked, but I can just keep going since he did the double ball slam. Let's see what you're doing now. You're doing the mix-up? Nope. Okay. Fine. Have it your way. You're out of key, which means I can just keep going. And you're going to do the slam? No slam? No, but you'll do the sweep. Fine. Let's just poke you in your nether regions. Keep the pressure going. Alright, getting pretty close to phase two. Same crap, same crap. Oh, now you're in phase two. Okay, you're doing an attack, let's just get behind you, because you have terrible tracking. Oh, you did the backhand sweep, let's just keep the pressure going. Just gotta keep in mind when you're going to do the ball throws, and I can literally not think about it until later. Body slam means the same thing. Another body slam. I mean, are you even original, bro? Do you even lift? Do you even swipe? Swipe left, bro. Okay, you're... That's, that's great. Okay, what are you doing now? Oh, now you're going for a ball throw. Well, sucks to be you, because I can just leap over it. Okay, you're going to do another one? Yeah, well, I'll just dodge to the side. 
and for those of you who are watching, you can, as a matter of fact, j jump above the ball throws and the hitbox will not connect. So it's, it's something to do, it's super risky, but it's a lot of fun. Again, this, the strategy is the same. He has terrible tracking. There's like a few moves to avoid, which are going to be fine. Oh look! Ball throw! Well, I'm just going to Mario jump it. And then, just to add insult to injury, let's just poke you in the butt. And you're dead. Thank you guys so much for watching. Happy holidays, and I'll see everyone next time.